the average day for Edmonton's bylaw officers is mostly focused on snowy sidewalks and untidy yards. Sometimes uh, it'll be a property where the neighbor is particularly sensitive yeah. and uh, anytime anything happens uh, they're using, they're phoning through and one, they're using the online system. Yeah. Uh, sometimes there'll be a second complaint uh, on the same place uh, before I've even had a chance to look at the first complaint. But now and then, a file can produce something out of the ordinary. We got up to the property cleanup stage of a nuisance on land file. We were there with our team of contractors removing a big pile of garbage from someone's backyard. It wasn't all garbage. In the pile, the team found a solid bronze sign weighing about 300 pounds. The sign was called Surviving Hard Times and it talked about um, periods of economic collapse uh, around the beginning of uh, the 1900s. And uh, so upon seeing this, I immediately knew that it did not belong to these property owners and it could possibly be worth something. Staff returned the sign to the owners and learned it was worth $3,000. While inspecting another house, officers came upon some more lofty souvenirs. The owner of the house comes out and he says, oh, can I help you? And she said, well, this is what we're here for. You know, this is what your responsibilities are and kind of explain the minimum maintenance standards. She's like, oh, well, you might want to take a look in my backyard and invite her in the backyard. And there was a disassembled airplane. Uh, in his backyard. Uh, it, there was like a fuselage, there was wings, there was actually multiple fuselages, there was wings. Uh, yeah, and, and in, my, in my time I've never seen anything like it. And it was a massive, a massive piece in his backyard. It, it took up most of his yard. And, and so we were, suffice to say that one was a bit surprising. For the Edmonton Sun, I'm Dave Lazzarino.